Hi, Mom. Yeah. No, can you pick up Chris after school? Yeah, I'm, I'm at the doctor's. Mrs. Harris? Describe your symptoms. H hang on. Stress, headaches, nausea. Well, I work on Saturdays. And how long has this been? Equanimity. Balance your lifestyle. Who do I have in the studios with me? Hi, this is Dr. Carrie Peterson speaking. Well, Dr. Peterson, thank you, and welcome back to the Valder Beebe Show. Oh, it's great to be here. Thanks for having me, Valder. Well, it's summertime, and I heard you got great information for us today. I sure do. I'd like to focus on a lot of things. To start with, I'd love to talk about exercising in the summertime and what you can do to prevent illness and injury. Okay, sounds good. I'm looking for somebody to exercise, and I get the benefits, but that's not working very well. So tell me how we can do it. Well, if you've been more sedentary in the wintertime and you're starting to perform an exercise regimen, you want to ease into it slowly. Take your time, do a good warm-up, do a nice stretch, and then gradually kick into your aerobic activity. If you're exercising outside, you want to be careful of not overheating and protecting yourself from heat-related illness like dehydration. So hydrate very well. Try to exercise in the morning and in the evening where it's a little bit cooler and wear lightly colored clothing and breathable fabrics. And you also want to try to take breaks if you're exercising for long periods of time. That's a great prescription. Now, is that for any age group? Because my audience is made up of a large group of baby boomers, Dr. Peterson. So is this for any age group, or is there something special for that group? Uh, well, for baby boomers, there is no special recommendation other than to be very aware of whether you're experiencing chest pain or unusual shortness of breath. If that's the case, if you've been more sedentary and you're, and you're really jumping in and you experience those symptoms, stop immediately and call your doctor. Sounds good. What next do you have on your prescription list? Also, you want to think about nutrition this time of year. We have access to lots of healthy fruits and vegetables, lots of greens as well. But even if you are taking in a healthy diet, it is very difficult to get every day the recommended nutrients that you need. So I do recommend incorporating a supplement. And there's a new product by Culturel Probiotics. It's called ProWell 3-in-1 Complete Formula. It basically promotes cardiovascular health, it supports the digestive system, and it helps the immune system. One capsule a day contains omega-3 fatty acids, which are great for heart health, and it contains lactobacillus GG, which is the number one studied probiotic. And probiotics are good bacteria. They help balance the bacteria in the gut, <clears throat> and so they can help with the occasional gas or bloating or constipation. And because the immune system resides 70% of it in our digestive system, it also helps support immune health. Dr. Peterson, I know we don't eat right. We don't eat all the proper foods that we need to eat, even when we're trying to eat right. Before taking a supplement, should we consult our doctors? Just because just taking it, how do we know that we're fulfilling the need of what we're lacking? That's a very good question, Valder. I actually do recommend consulting with your physician before taking any supplement. In general, I'm, I'm an internist myself. Uh, what I recommend to my patients is to take a multivitamin, take a vitamin D supplement, and take a probiotic like the Culturel ProWell. All right, then. And next on your prescription pad? I also recommend wearing sunscreen if you're in the sun to protect your skin from the UV rays and also think about protecting your eyes from the sun as well. If you wear prescription eyeglasses though that can be very tough because prescription sunglasses can be very expensive but there is a solution for you. There's something called Solar Shield. They have two products. They have a fits over sunglass that fits right over your prescription eyeglasses and they have a clip-on which clips onto your prescription eyeglasses. Now they're polarized lenses so they reduce glare and they protect your eyes from 100%
of the UVA and the UVB rays, so they help protect your eyes and, and they'll reduce fine lines. And plus, they're very affordable, where prescription sunglasses can be $200, the fits over are only $25, and the clip-ons are only $15. So please be mindful of your vision as well. All right. Anything else you want my audience to know before I let you go? Uh, you can go for more information at video, videopump.tv or culturel.com. Dr. Carrie Peterson, you always have great information and great doable advice. I like you. Thank you so very much for being my guest on the Valder Beebe Show. Thanks so much for having me.